Everyone has something they're willing to fight for. Could be family, friends, your beliefs, your home. Doesn't matter who you are, there's just some things you have to protect. But what do you do when the world fights back? Guess I know now. Wish I could go back in time and tell myself. But I was not ready to hear it. Honorable Judge Maya Bird presiding in the case of people of the state of New York versus Alfred Hound. Defendant charged with attempted grand larceny. How do you plead? Not guilty, Your Honor. I see. Officer, please remove her cuffs. Now, before we begin, perhaps you should reacquaint yourself with your many previous encounters with the law. I haven't seen this in a while. Not my best angle. Nothing like a trip down memory lane. Why are you here, Frey? Grand larceny? Is that who you really are? No, it's just... I needed the cash for... <sighs> Never mind. Sooner or later, you're going to have to start taking accountability for your actions. Are you familiar with the Persistent Felony Offender Law, also known as the Three Strikes Law? Wait, you can't do that. I never hurt anyone. Just yourself. You have two previous felony thefts, and with this new one, your grand total will be three. This could put you away for a very, very long time. You have so much potential. I, I can do so much more with my life. I I I'm a smart girl with a bright future. I was going to say you have so much anger and resentment in you, I'm not sure you'll ever amount to anything at all. Truth hurts. But, in the holiday spirit, I'm going to give you an early present. Try not to piss it away. I'm going to release you under the condition you serve 120 hours of community service. Thanks. You won't regret it. Next time you end up in front of me, I will not be as lenient. We clear? Good. You're free to go. Pray. One more thing. Happy almost birthday. It's not too late to start using your gifts to help others. That was close. That judge might have just saved my ass. Won't get that lucky again. Hey, excuse me. Your phone. Oh my gosh. Thank you so much. No worries. Happens to all of us. You saved my life, seriously. Happy holidays. Um, happy holidays.
I should get back to Homer. Poor girl needs her dinner. I need to go straight home. Ugh, I hate the cold. Gotta get inside. I hope I never see the inside of a courtroom again. find you hey uh uh lisa lisa really i thought she was lisa that's chrissy huh well in my defense you don't really look like a lisa uh, oh, where is it oh i don't have it all right there were complications not like i wanted to get caught stealing the car but here we are we don't like complications you are running out of chances. Yeah, I've been hearing that one a lot today. Get the car back. It's not that easy. It's been impounded. What's so special about this car anyway? It's none of your damn business. Our boss, Mr. Giggin, is very unhappy. So unless you get it back, one of us is gonna be in a lot of pain. Do I get to pick? <laughs> Keep jumping. We will leave your body in this fucking alley, and I promise you, no one is gonna miss you. No. Okay. Okay, fine. I'll just tell your boss, Mr. Chicken. Giggin. 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 All right. Gig. Gig. Great. Gig. Giggin. Great. Gig. I, I just tell him. I, I I need some more time, but but for now, here's some collateral. Turning back now. Uh, oh, are you okay? Oh, shit, I, I have to go. I I'm so sorry. I gotta find a way out of here. Maybe it's safer to go through the alley.
Palmer must be waiting for me. Better get inside before I freeze. Curiouser and curiouser, cried Alice. Wish I could find that rabbit hole and tumble away to Wonderland. My favorite kicks. stare at you guys all day. The Holland Tunnel, site of my folks' great disappearing act. Who leaves a newborn baby on the street? Well, at least it wasn't the Queen's Midtown Tunnel. That would have been an awful last name. She doesn't like this, but it's all I have. I wonder where Homer's at. Finally, I can start over. Took long enough, though. Sorry, I'm late, I know. Miss me? Oh, well, 
thank you, but my birthday isn't for another few days. Tell you what, I almost forgot. I've been so busy recently. Oh, well, you know, the important things to do. Riding court, slaying dragons. I'll let you in on a secret, but I'm a pretty big deal. <laughs> Real big deal. Everybody needs me. We are getting out of this city, Homer. Away from the assholes, the garbage, the cops. I, I thought it's just enough to get us started. Yeah. I promise we'll go somewhere that loves cats. Even ones like you. I just can't wait for clean air. Jesus, no more cops, no more fights. <sighs> Tomorrow. One more sleep, and we are out of here. <sighs> Can't wait to be in the other place with this. Homer first. Homer! Come on, baby! Homer! Oh, holy shit! Okay, we gotta get out of here. Now! No, no, no! Window it is. I believe it was set by some local gang members. The suspects are still at large. Frey, what happened to you? You look like hell. Are you allergic? What? To cats. Are you allergic to cats? No, I, I love cats, but are you in trouble? Good. She likes wet food, the flaky kind, not pate. She needs a warm place to sleep. Maybe a lap every once in a while. And she needs a bath, but good luck with that. Pray, what's going on? Her name is Homer. Promise me you'll look after her. Promise. Thank you. 
What are you doing, Frey? The right thing. I need some time to... to sort some stuff out. But I'll come back for her. It just... might take a while. Frey, wait. If you're in trouble, I can help you, Frey. Happy holidays. All right. Homer's safe. Now what am I gonna do? Full circle. Happy birthday to me. Thanks, Mom. Well, I'm better than that. No, I'm gonna fix things. Get Homer back. Finally get out of... that is It's beautiful. Nope. Not getting in that way. Must be another way. <clears throat> Definitely no one in here. Seriously? Who would just leave this? I mean, wow. Oh. <laughs> hmm. 